Okay, so on our Jiffy bag upstairs, we previously had a Kanban in place, which was just a Kanban like this, um, which literally said just to order the two boxes. They didn't say where to put the Kanban once it's been ordered, um, so there was no trail to say how it was ordered or if it had been ordered. So what I asked Jake to do was make this for us. So once this is ordered, it says on here you flip it over and then you put this here. So this indicates to anyone that comes up, they know that that's been ordered. Once the product comes in, you simply put that back, put it against the box, put the product in. Should make things a lot simpler. It's my improvement at laser control. So what happens is, Phil said there was a problem when people drop off Kanbans and he doesn't know they're there instantly. So we made this cool light box and this button. So now a single press, what it does. Laser. Cabin dropped off, the and cutting. Laser cabin. And that plays all over the whole factory. There's a great visual control flashing, and then to switch it off, double press, and the light goes off. And then if we do a long press. Lasers. Capacity and lasers, please set more cabins. And there you go. High speed communication, and uh, yeah, we love it. Just gonna add a little shelf to the small press so we got a platform for the work. Here's the after, more space to work. Thank you, Phil. Just added a gauge for 45 for the 086 sides. Thank you. Okay, my improvement today is this big square. I needed it earlier to do a job, so just had one made. Premium, thank you. I've proved it now, I'm going to have ownership of this equipment, so I'll make sure the machine's turned off, I'll make sure the steel tubes are put away after use, and I'll make sure it's all just nice and tidy, make it a good standard. Thank you. Just added some labels here to the yellow paper holder, specifying what it is and what it's used for. Looking around the office for things to 3S, now some of these shelves are getting a little bit dirty so I'm going to give them a good clean. So I've given these two shelves a good clean and whilst cleaning I spotted a problem. That's empty. So I have to get some more biros ordered. So that's one of the situations that Jack's explaining with studio today. When you 3 s in you find problems and need fixing. Just a couple of improvements here at the goods in the printing desk. So previously the slot that was cut for a stapler, the same wouldn't actually fit in properly, it would always sit on an angle. So I've changed that and I've also cut the whole bigger so we can fit a whole box of staples in here. There's only two staples I know of in the business and one is here and one's in the office, so we might as well have a full box here. Friday morning is when I redo the minimum numbers and category changes on Linworks. I need to start getting this information to JP. So what I was going to do is just make some record cards to do this. So that's an old way of doing things I want to do it better. So what I've done is I've made this sheet here so it clearly labels which is which. I can stick a date on there so we know which um, week it's from if we want to keep them for whatever reason. And to access this sheet quicker, I've added it from Stream Deck so it'll immediately open the PDF in Edge and I can just print it and fill it out. Whilst I was recording the video for that, I actually realised that I can't see all these posters, so I'll have to look up to see the bottom of that one. And when I'm sat here normally, I actually can't see most of the outfoilers, so I'm going to move these posters. It's a very easy fix, just move them a bit higher up, so now when I'm sitting normally, I can still see all of them. So when I'm exporting DXF on SolidWorks, I've got these shortcuts up here now. I used to have these written on my laptop, obviously the laptop is now securely on the bear, so I can't access it. So there's no replacement here, so I always knew it was Control shift e or Control shift r but I could never remember which way around it was, so I've got a little reminder off my screen where your side works. Thanks to Jake's previous improvement with these uh, blue dots, I've been able to keep the rope tight far easier. There's about six or seven labels here that can get stuck back on, locations can be kept clean, tidy, and have far less chance of defects. Thank you. That's a great job, great job everyone, thank you very much.